So the one menu has already been installed. It creates these four shortcuts right here. They will all show up as white at first, uh, but they will populate the icon once you've actually launched the application themselves. So I typically delete these two because they are duplicates and they don't populate the icons. So these dot LNKs, I just delete. The wine menu shortcut, how it's used is you drag it down here to the taskbar. Let me do that. There we go. And then you create a launcher. And once the application is there or the shortcut is there, if you click on it, you'll get your wine environment or your Windows 32 environment. You have all the applications that you're typically used to and you've got the App Store by Wraps. Now this tool, when it populates or when it shows up here, uh, it's a bunch of applications that are compatible with um, Wine32, or Wine that is, and so you can install any application that you want or that you would need for your Win32 environment. So when you hover your mouse over here over the Wine menu shortcut, it actually populates a tooltip. Uh, I typically don't like to see that, so I just right-click, go to Properties, go to Advanced, and then Disable. And so the next time you hover over here, you're not going to get that information. You're not going to get that little tooltip. And the other application here, the Wine Start Menu Sys Tray, if you double-click on that, it's going to launch the same menu, but in the Sys Tray here. So if you were to right-click or just left-click, right-click, it doesn't matter. It'll open up the menu, and you get the same Windows environment and the App Store as well. So you still have your Linux app uh, menu and you get your Win32 menu side by side or in the sys tray. Now what I did do here is I did uh, install the Linux flavor. Uh, what is it? It's Linux Mint XFCE only because it's easiest to place the shortcut onto the taskbar, but it is possible with other flavors of Linux as well. And there you have it. There's your wine menu.